think I would have any interest. <laughs> Hello, what's there crack? What's the story? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're checking out Mickey Flanagan. This is dating a cockney. Let's go. But I went back out on the dating scene. Okay. You look very sophisticated, madam, if you don't mind me saying. You look very... My cup of tea, you are. <laughs> you look a bit posh and a bit dirty. <laughs> Best combo in the business. <laughs> no, you, you don't look posh. <laughs> uh, Cheap shot. Cheap shot. You're very sophisticated, madam. Have you got an education, if you don't mind me asking? No, do, but how far did you get in your education, if you don't mind? Boots. Boots? <laughs> okay. How high up are you in boots? <laughs> Consultant. Consultant? See, I told you you look like quality. Shopping, what do you want? Now, me ain't got none. Fuck off. You're in the back room talking about what boots can sell. Consulting people, I've been consulted myself. Very pressurized because it all changed when I went back out on the dating scene. The pack of a band no longer required, all you had to do was listen. By the mid 90s, women wanted to be listened to, and you had to listen, you had to have a listening face. But women will exploit your listening face if you get too good at it. Because they have these little break-off conversations, little branch-offs, because you're just trying to stay focused, you're listening. And suddenly she says, oh, you know, Claudia, in work, she's having real problems with her line manager at the moment. <laughs> and you're like, in what world? In what realm of fantasy? Do you think I would have any interest? <laughs> oh God, that's so true. I feel like if you're, if you are in a relationship with someone and you live with someone, this is what happens every day. I'm so used to it at this stage. I'm like, I know so many people that my girlfriend walks with. I've never met them, but I've heard loads of stories about them. And it's getting to a stage where I'm like, hmm, do I actually know these people? Cause I know too much about them. It's crazy. Let me know if it's true. In your friends, <laughs> problems at work <laughs> with a line manager. How? What do you want from me here? What, <laughs> what am I bringing to the table, sister? I don't. <laughs> Is it anger you're looking for? Oh, you're joking! <laughs> Those line managers, you want me to go down there and sort it out? <laughs> don't get involved, she's gone to a tribunal. <laughs> And women didn't have to worry about their reputation as much then, thank the Lord, that's all changed. If they fancy you, they'll say, look, shut up, take me home, I'm going to sleep with you, relax yourself. <laughs> and you go home and you sleep with them, it's fantastic. You wake up in the morning, you're a bit dishevelled, it's all happened a bit quick. <laughs> the worst thing has happened of all, though, you know, because you've forgotten her name. In the hurrah. <laughs> and I'm a bit old-fashioned, I think if you've chomped on someone's carpet, you should remember their name, you know what I mean? <laughs> Old fashioned. <laughs> so I want to show a bit of respect, so I creep downstairs, look through the post. <laughs> crafty Cockney. The Cockney is very crafty. There used to be a dark player, Eric Bristow, he used to call himself the Crafty Cockney. And I used to look at this and think, well, how crafty can you actually be as a dark player? <laughs> Did he try and get away with throwing four darts or something? <laughs> 240! Hold on a minute, Eric. <laughs> clues in a nine, clues in a nine. So. <laughs> looking through the posts. See if we can find her name here. Oh, I can't call her the Occupy. <laughs> That'd be a bit cold, wouldn't it? Walk back in the morning. Morning, Occupier! <laughs> Damn good show last night, old girl. But I'm still a bit old school. If I've slept with someone, I think it's entitled to go out in the week, maybe. After work, you don't want to wreck your weekend. After work, safe, innit? Pizza Express, not the hut. Women don't like the hut on the first date. Not enough glamour for them. <laughs> Gotta be Express, marbling table, flower. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly she's thinking, this guy's okay. I think he's his potential boyfriend, this one. But I did shag him a bit lively. <laughs> Better clear it up. 
So halfway through the four seasons, you get, listen, um, don't normally sleep with men as quickly as I happen to have slept with you. And I'm like, relax, homeowner. I don't always shout out during sex. You love it, you slag, you love it. <laughs> Let's just say you've got off to a bit of a shaky start. Let's have another bruschetta. <laughs> That's a disappointment, I know, isn't it? The bruschetta. <laughs> I ordered one the other day. It's a bruschetta, mate. Oh, my friend, it's a bruschetta. <laughs> I said, it's eight and a half quid for tomato on toast. Now, fucking go and get it. So true when you think of it, it's just to... <sighs> it is tomato and toast. That's it. Fuck's sake. But yeah, that was really good. I love this guy. Literally, I only found him about a month and a half ago, and I've done probably about eight or nine literally reactions to him. Yeah, I absolutely love it. If you guys want to see more, you know what to do. Like it, and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye bye.